Hey there guys, we're back. Same duel with Weevil. I uh, might have missed uh, like one or two uh, battles there, but I did just notice like uh, he's down to 1150. So, yep, last time we were just kind of taking him on. Little bonus content. Um, so yeah, we just recently took out his, uh, yeah, Goki Boar right here. Because uh, Fungi weakened it. And then we took it out with Hercules Beetle, and it is now the end of my turn. Turn two on Rosie. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought about. I remember. I know. I just said like, like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's the end of the duel. I'm not gonna worry about it. But I was just like, eh, you know what? I'll go ahead and show the end of the duel. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do. Man, we lost another seven. Holy crap! There. Uh, let's hope I have to draw a good fusion here. Ooh, yes, he like Wolf, Wolf and Fungi of the Musk might have uh, done the Chimera. Um, I guess for now, let's just freeze you infinitely, huh? Sounds good to me. And I can kind of. <laughs> what's funny about this board state is I can kind of wedge myself right here. Which uh, we will can do about it. So that's funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, that uh, that last part actually turned out to be 32 minutes, which I didn't think my phone would do. But uh, hey, here we are. Now I wonder if we will run over his own card here. Uh, that's what we're about to find. Oh, Dark Magician. <laughs> oh. And this day could not get any better. So let's just, uh, this is gonna be one of the cooler attacks we've seen. Um, let's move it, uh, let's leave it right here. He should come over here and kind of attack Dark Magician, right? Yeah, let's end the turn. <laughs> and this duel was looking pretty, uh, Hey, I mean, bonus episode, and I'm able to... Because I've not shown Dark Magician's attack at all. Perfect. Don't be man eared but... Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm a little annoyed by the Nightmare Scorpion, but... Yeah, check this out, guys. Dark Magician, Dark Magic attack. This is one of the cooler... I have not shown this at all. Yeah, check this out. Not this. I mean, I mean here in about 20 seconds. <laughs> Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. Oh man, he gets the same symbol as uh, the uh, Pitch Black Power Stone from Magician's Force on the bottom there. Dark Magic Attack. Oh, dude. Get on. <laughs> Dark Magician has used like some of the coolest attacks ever to exist in the anime man but that that right there i mean on ps2 that looks pretty cool oh man he's down to 50 life points are you kidding me oh wait we won dark magician can finish him off oh and rosie's free too um okay shall i let dark magician well rosie is who we're trying to level up here so i should probably let rosie get the finishing blow But you know what? Screw that. We're gonna let Dark Magician get the finishing blow. Oh. Nice move, Weevil. I approve. I approve. And just to make sure you don't have any shenanigans with that, uh... Quagar? Yeah, we're gonna put Shadow of Eyes face down. That's right. Now check this out. This is gonna be funny. Switch everything to attack mode. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shadow Vice has been activated. Do it. Do everything in attack mode. That's right. And now, folks, in stereo. Dark Magician, go. Dark Magic Attack. Oh, man. <laughs> now, now, you know, at first I was just like, eh, who cares? It's the end of the duel. I don't need to show. But you know what? We got to show Dark Magician twice. Pretty glad I did that. Pretty glad I went ahead and was just like, hey, you know what? Go ahead and transfer it real quick. Yeah, this has been a good day. <laughs> oh, I love 
this game. That's <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Awesome. Dark Magician gets the winning blow. There you go. Alright. Wow. We will play that duel really, really well. He, he was just firing power-ups everywhere. Oh, man, in that play where he uh, he hit our Furious Sea King with Manier Bug. Oh, man. It almost got him two direct attacks on us. Okay, we can probably get a three in a row with laser cannon armor. If I pay attention here. Close. Oh, missed it, but you know what? We did get another man eater bug. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's just fine. Man eater bugs, really good card. And you can put it in almost any deck. Uh, what time are we at here? Let's see. Uh, we're only at like. Six minutes? Well, oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, and I only need one more duel for reincarnation. Okay, cool. Um, let's just switch back to um, the main of the Aqua deck. And yeah, this will be the last duel for sure, guys, uh, for today. And uh, yeah, now we got six mana here, but that's good. That's good. Uh, any abilities? This is a low level. Oh, okay. Just curious. Just curious. All right, maiden of the aqua deck. Yeah, that's our deck. All right. All right. Yep. And after this, I think I'm gonna yeah, get some pizza or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll order some dominoes. Honestly, that sounds pretty good. Uh, who do I want to duel to end it off? Uh, well, Keith would most likely be fast. And there are some more cards I want to win from him, so... Hey, Keith it is. <laughs> sounds good to me. Alright, <laughs> let's see if you can beat my machine monsters again, <laughs> Brit. America. Surprise, this is the first time I'm doing the In America one. Uh, once again, Stone Dragon. Front and center. Um, but I'm actually going to go with the classic Manier Bug. Yeah. Let's see how you handle that, Keith. Oh, and uh, let's turn the volume back down. I think I turned it up because, uh, yeah, Dark Magician. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was that was volume worthy. Uh, I'll say. Uh, ooh, glad I saved my uh, Kamori Dragon. This is a much better fusion for our deck. Kai Ryushin. Yeah, I actually uh, on Master Duel. Speaking of Kai Ryushin, I heard a uh, Kai Ryushin. And some um, other... I haven't played Master Duel in a while. Well, obviously, right? If I had been playing it lately, I would have showed you guys, you know. Because I usually like stream or whatever. Uh, but I heard uh, Kai Ryushin and some other, like... Even, like, jellyfish. It got, like, kind of like a... And, like, it's some of the stuff they released in... Uh, Battles of... Uh, uh, oh, I forget the name of the set, the latest set in the TCG, but it's like a Legendary Duelist. It wasn't like Mako Tsunami, it was like Legendary Duelist, like, Raging Battle? Raging, like, Ocean Battle? It was something like that. You guys know which one I'm talking about. The one with Mako on the cover. I heard they released uh, some of those cards in Master Duel, and like, even like... Fortress Whale got a reprint, the Jellyfish, Fiend Kraken, like, just some signature monsters. I'm just like, you know what? That's awesome. Might be time to start streaming some Master Duel. I'll probably do that on Twitch. Well, not today. I, I think uh, 
we, we made good progress for today. And like, oh yeah, today I need to... Oh, that's a pretty cool looking attack. I need to do the uh, editing, right? For the... Uh, and it is going to take me a while to find those other parts of uh, 5Ds. <laughs> uh, the juggling. The juggling act. Nice. Uh, but yeah. And I think I'll queue up like about the same amount of parts of... And yeah, by the way, sorry the parts for 5Ds aren't in order or anything, but it's just like... Basically, I just kind of found them all, and I guess I should have mentioned this like two or three episodes ago, but yeah, basically, guys, I just kind of found all those in, you know, like in a in a batch, and I was just like, you know what? I recorded these like two years ago, so two and some change ago, so I was just like, you know what? Maybe someone will want to see them. Let's just kind of mess with the description, mess with the tags, and let's just put it up there on YouTube, and maybe someone will enjoy watching that. I mean, the music is pretty uh, fun to listen to, and like, you can go find these uh, Decade Duels Plus, and I was just like, you know what? Why not? Why not just put it up there, man? Because I already had it recorded, so... Hydro can I I guess it's not Hydro, it would just be like Air Cannon. Yeah, air Cannon. That does sound like a cool attack. That's basically what uh, the Bug Roth's using there. Shut down, Error, Error. Yeah, Grab Attack of Bug Roth, I like it. You know, I don't like many machine monsters, I usually lean more toward Aqua, but. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, good job, Kai Ryushin. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, Kai Ryushin support in Master Duel, and oh, well, I guess in the it was released in the TCG about about like three. Oh, Flame Swordsman, cool. About about two months ago. Yeah, so. But that's cool. Um, now, we gotta watch out for Blast Juggler's effect here, of course. But, uh... Sorry to do it to you, Flame Swordsman. But I need your help. Go, Flame of Sword Battle! Great. I don't think Keith ever used this one. No, but he did use uh, Blast Sphere. Yeah, he used that in Duelist Kingdom. Uh, its effect was kind of... different? Then it is even, you know, it's different. Because uh, in this game, I think Blast Sphere has the same effect as Blast Juggler here. You know, the kind of 3x3, three three, you know, boom kind of effect. Um, but in the anime, like, Blast Sphere had, like, well, in Duelist Kingdom, anyway, in Duelist Kingdom, it had the effect to duel, like, to deal. 2,900 points of damage, but like, <laughs> it was so funny, Joey, Joey like, countered it at the last minute, because he stuck, uh, Dragon Nails on, um, on Red Eyes after, but first, with Red Eyes, he stole Keith's, um, he stole Keith's, uh, Metal Morph, which actually, I'd love to get that card from him, actually. Metal Morph is a really good card. And yes, he does have Metal Zoa. Um, I probably should have said that the first duel we dueled against him. I really didn't mention it because, like, most of the duels we're going to do against Keith are going to be pretty easy. You know, because obviously his monsters get, uh, you know, such a bad decrease in sea terrain. But if you're not, if you didn't start with the main of the Aqua deck or you don't have anything like Zone Eater or anything aqua dragon to change the feel yeah man put in the code for aqua dragon because if he summons metal zo on you it's basically game over i mean yeah especially if you're new you know what i mean if you're like new to this game and you just don't know like how to you know what i mean like because metal zo like by itself it's gonna have 3500 points that's like really high even for this point of the game, that's, like, pretty high. And then, like, on top of that, like, if you can't deal with it for long, 
eventually Keith's gonna set one or two limiter removal. It's kind of random when he decides to activate him, but like if he does that on a metal zone, uh, watch out, cause that's gonna be nasty. Uh, for some reason he's not. Are these bluffs? What's going on here? Keith, you're not attacking me. I'm getting worried, buddy. Uh, is this a trap or something? Oh, it is a trap. What is it? Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Kyrushin. But, uh, nothing else. Now we have the good chance to win Trap from the Graveyard. Uh, let's just set Infinite Dismissal here. Because hopefully he summons a monster and attacks it. That way it's still stuck on sea terrain. See what I mean? Yeah. So let's just kind of set that as a, as a bluff. Keep seeing him seeking around this outside. And definitely want to set him... If he sends a monster this way, I'll set seeking here to contain uh, this side. So I haven't seen any main of the Alphas in this room. So is this a monster this time, Keith? Or another trap card? Okay, he is attacking. Ooh! Okay, well, I'm kind of glad we showed this duel, too. So that's one of the ways, as you just saw there, you might be wondering, well, why didn't Keith's uh, Barrel Dragon activate? Yeah. So, um, most limited traps, like, um, that we just used, like Infinite Dismissal, they will, you know what I mean, as long as the infinite dismissal activates first, it will actually stop the flip effect, and that's one of the few ways to stop uh, flip effects in this game, you know, because for the most part, flip effects, you know, if they're the type like Barrel Dragon, basically this is a long range flip effect, and there's really not many uh, uh, other ways to stop it. But uh, luckily for us, oh wow, we got Mayor Bud too. Huh? That's pretty lucky. Um, yeah, that's actually great for us because, uh, yeah. Now, as far as Mayor Bug, I'm not sure if that would stop him as well. I guess it would matter which flip effect activates first. The one for the turn player? I'm bluffing. I knew you were bluffing. The one for the turn player or like the like the defender you know what i mean i'm not sure which would activate first hmm if you don't leave it down in the comments because i'm actually kind of curious like if his barrel dragon attack my face down man eater bug would my bug destroy him first or you know how would that work dice armadillo all right guys it's time for the emerald heal zone theme <laughs> That's another game. I have I ever talked about uh, Sonic? I might have played Sonic Adventure. You know, just kind of as a one-off one-off in this channel. Uh, there are some Sonic games I would eventually play in the future. Uh, Spike Seedra. I think I do have a Thunder Monster on the field. Yes, I do. So, for once, you're going to get to see this monster's effects. Alright, well, let, let's keep bluffing him with Ukazi there. And, uh... Let's just attack. All right. Where's my water at? Let's see. Here we go. All right. Quill Cascade. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I got that line in there. <laughs> Roar! Sabi Maru! Man, Spike Seedra looks pretty cool. I think this card got, like, a retrain as well, didn't it? I don't know. But yeah, it's so cool that, uh, like, 
yeah, that's what the name of the set was. Fury from the Deep. Ah, I knew I would think of it before the episode was over. Yeah, Legendary Duelist Fury from the Deep. Yeah, some of those cards are out in Master Duel now. Well, they have been out for like uh, a couple weeks or so. so. Let's go ahead and turn the type. Alright, and all we're really waiting on, as I'm sure you guys know, is that good old Aqua Dragon. So, ah, speaking of Aqua Dragon, hmm, let's move this Ukazi a little over, Shane. Man, Shane, I'm not still in the Akihito. You gen ha! How about this? Alrighty. And we basically just won the game. Because we've already taken out his girl dragon. Uh, so about that win in the game thing, I didn't know this guy would be using two power increases on one monster. Oh, okay, so this is his slot machine. Watch out. Uh, luckily for us, Keith uh, didn't move one centimeter, so we can get anything we want, a free, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, quote unquote experience points. So let's just throw out a random monster here, flip it face up. There you go, experience points. The yeah, experience points. And I don't know if they get experience points for moving squares, but uh, <laughs> just in case, right? I mean, we've already won here, so. Aqua Dragon, do your thing. Shwing. Oh, by the way, I think you get more experience points to level up too, like if your monster has an effect. And you constantly like use that effect, like let's say Pumpkin, <laughs> and you get it to nine 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 by constantly using its effect. Yeah, that also helps you rank up. I think again, a lot of this we're finding out together, chat. So, all right, we got Ground Attack and Bugger Off. I actually wouldn't mind another one of those, but uh, uh, limiter removal is too good to ignore. Let's try for it. This one does two. Okay, yeah. Ooh, Cyber Commander. That's actually a really good card. Maybe I should go for that. Nah, Limit Removal is better. Mr. Well, I'll take the Ground Attack of Bug Roth, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's right by Ground Attack of Bug Roth. Okay. That was 1,002. Well, if we hit early, we get. Uh, Invisible Wire, too. So I'm going to, like, aim in my mind for Ground Attack or Bug Roth. And then just, yeah. Oh, darn it! I actually got it. Man, we missed uh, Limit Removal and Invisible Wire there. But, hey, you know, y you can't get three in a row all the time. Just when we start the recording session. <laughs> Which, that was a good three in a row, too. So, well, guys, I appreciate you all... Thank you so much for watching this, uh, yeah, this little batch of, uh, recording sessions. Uh, anything? Oh, right, we can do a reincarnation. And then I think that'll be the end of the episode. So, yeah. All right. Um, reincarnation. So... Uh, will I throw the other... Well, let's just see what we get on the reincarnation. And then I might actually reset. Um, let's see, let's go... Yeah, right around 16. Mm, I might do Invigoration. Yeah, I got like six copies of Invigoration. Wow, yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's reincarnate Invigoration. There's actually a really good... <gasps> We got it! We got it! Dude, I was just about to say, there's actually a really good card. That's around 10 deck costs, and I've been kind of looking for it in my deck. I mean, the odds are slim that we get it, but yeah, check this out, man. This has been a good day. Yeah, check this out. And I know we already have one, but Aqua Chorus, yeah. So, if you're struggling in this game for whatever reason, yeah, try reincarnating cards around you know, 15 deck cost, and you might, and even Mesmeric Control, pretty good. You might get some good Magic and Trap cards, so there you go. I'm, hey, I'm definitely, wow, another Aqua, that's like just what I wanted, like, 
Oh, it's pretty good day. Pretty good day. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's like a perfect time to end the recording session right there. So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, definitely save that. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, yeah, more of the ranking challenge to come. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good day. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> man, got to start the recording. You know this one by using you know Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, able to pull out that duel with Weevil, which that was. Man, I'll be honest. I thought I was gonna lose that duel. I was just like, because I transferred it. I was like, ah, you know what? I I probably should finish this off screen. But I was just like, you know what? I didn't even know we were gonna draw Dark Magician. It's just like, dude, that's one of the things I've been wanting to show off in this let's play too. It's just like, I'll probably do it at the end, you know, just show off a bunch of like cool monster attacks, like Dark Magician, Summon Skull, you know, stuff like that. Red Eyes, you know what I mean? Hmm. Dang, we actually reincarnated for Aqua Chorus. There's actually like an immortal monster that's right around like. 15, 17 deck cost that I want to win to. Ooh, a mortal monster. Spoiler, spoilers. I don't think we've even gotten a mortal monster yet. You know, I'll, I'll cut that part out. No worries, but, yeah. A second aqua chorus? Very good. Very good.